awesome. Good job, Michelle. How are you today, Michelle? Well, I'm pretty good. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> awesome. We're going to talk a little bit about sound, I hear. Yes, sound. Very cool. So, what is sound? What is sound? That's a great question, sound? actually. Well, sound basically is vibrations. That's all. Feel the vibe, baby. Feel the vibe. Um, <laughs> vibrations. So what ends up happening, for example, on a piano? See these strings here? When these... these <laughs> I see them all right. Yeah, exactly. Well, what ends up happening is the strings vibrate, right? And when an object vibrates, it causes... These, these vibrations cause the air molecules around them to move. And they bump into other air molecules, which bump into other air molecules and keep the energy going. And then that causes the sound to keep going. And the sound stops when the energy. So when you're close enough to those vibrations, that's when you can hear the sound. When you say molecules, do you mean like molecules of air? Because um, yeah, you can't I don't, see. I don't you see, can't. I don't no, see you, anything. You wouldn't be able to see them. No. no. But they, they happen all around you. And, and whenever a sound is made, like even right now, I'm speaking and I'm causing the air molecules to move. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. I never eh? knew that. Well, of course you didn't. That's why you're asking the question. <laughs> right. <laughs> but so, mm -hmm. if you want to make some sound, you have to move some air around? You got it. That's right. See, when I'm talking, like as I mentioned, I'm moving, I'm creating my vocal cords to vibrate. And if I put my hand on my neck, I can actually feel the vibrations when I talk or sing. See, listen. Ah. Now you can hear that, but I can actually feel that. Give it a try. Okay. Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> Testing. Hey, that's awesome. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. you can feel, you can actually feel the vibrations. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty cool. Wait, how come there are some low sounds and high sounds? How does, how do the vibrations work that way? Well, see, when something vibrates very quickly, it causes a higher pitch, like way up here on the piano. And something that vibrates a lot slower causes a low pitch, like this one. You see? And that's how it works, especially on a piano. It's the same thing with a piano. Yeah. Wow. Pretty neat in there, hey? So how does this whole part work? Well, see, inside the piano, see those things with the felt on them? Those are called hammers. And what they do is they come up and they hit the strings. See, there's a grouping of strings and they come up and they tap the strings to make the sound. And that sound vibrates, it vibrates the strings and it carries through this whole big piano. And it's got a soundboard in there which reverberates the sound and makes this glorious. I want to hear you. Come on. Why don't you play for a little bit? Yeah, just play a little bit. <coughs> play for me, Michelle. Play. I will play for you, Danny. All right. <laughs> okay. We, we Let's play. hear it. Let's hear it. All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. <laughs> Amazing! You obviously have played before. Well, uh, yeah, I've kind of been playing since I was really young. Yeah, I can tell you're doing great. That's awesome, Michelle. <laughs> well, you know what? There's so many other things I want to show you about sound. Many other instruments and how they're made. Why don't we check them out? Alright. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Come with me! Alright, come on! You see, Michelle, with guitars, it's still the same principle as a piano. It's the string vibrating either by plucking it or using a pick. And it sends it through this nice hollow body here, which is the, kind of the soundboard like in the piano. And it makes it vibrate and send out to our lovely ears and we can hear it that way. What about electric guitars? They don't have this uh, acoustic... Uh... No, well, uh, here, let me show you. Hold this. Sorry about nice. <laughs> this guitar, this electric guitar, if I strum it, all you hear, you don't hear that nice big full sound and that's because it's got nowhere to go. There's no sound board really. So what happens is they use these things called pickups and they do exactly that. They pick up the sound vibration from the strings, send it through a cord, which is not plugged in right now, and it sends it to the amplifier, which amplifies the vibrations. And that's when you hear that great rocking sound. 
It's that kind of stuff. But uh, why don't you give it a go? All right. And don't be don't be worried. I've been playing for a while, so I'm not expecting it to be amazing or anything. But just uh, just give it a go and just see what it, see how it feels. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Try some stuff out. Yeah, that's a good one. Really good. Really? <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. Well, how? Uh, Thanks. Um, how about drums? <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah, pretty cool, hey? Yeah. So, drums make sounds when you hit the head or the skin or the cymbal. And we're the same way, look, you can actually see the cymbal vibrating to make the sound keep going. Now in a drum skin, yeah, that's why there's sticks. Ah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that so, makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so with a drum, as you can see, the drums are different sizes, which make them reverberate the sound, and the sound carries through them in different ways. <laughs> then you got the big one in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, and it makes all the different sounds, and the different tight, uh, however tight you make the skin across the drum also affects the pitch or how fast it vibrates and things like that. See? It's really tight on the snare. A little looser, a little looser, looser, and... <laughs> yes, so why don't you, you know what, why don't you give it a go? Now, don't, no, drums, no, I know no, drums no, can no, seem pretty scary, no, no. but no, here's the thing. Give it a try, you just, even if it's, it's just fun to hit a cymbal on a drum, just, you know, just to get your anger out. Here, All right, yeah, okay. just give it a try, now, again. I know guitar is a little bit easier, but you're don't. You're gonna bully me into this? Yes, I am gonna okay. bully you. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna stand oh, right here. Oh, you're gonna The okay. whole time. Yes. Just to. All right. Is that a problem? No. no okay. It's not. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ready to rock? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Just follow right. me and just keep playing around. No, um, so just, uh, hit the, you know, just have fun. Hit the, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, okay. just give something a try. You don't have to be a fancy or crazy or wild. Just, right. just hit some drums, make some noise. Drum. Yeah, yeah. All right. For sure. Cool. Play. Trombone. Oh yeah, I played that too. Bass. Um uh, yeah, I kind of slapped the bass once in a while. See tin whistle. I played that in grade two. Melodica. Me too. You know nobody plays that. That's a didgeridoo. Oh, oh, that's wicked. My dad brought me one back from Australia. It's so cool. That's a 16th century loot. No, I haven't played that one. Oh really? But I have played the 14th century loot. I didn't even know they had a 14th century loot. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, totally! Great. I, well, I, so, do you play any other instruments? Well, I... I mean, I, I kind of consider it an instrument, it's just my body. I, it's called body percussion, but I'm sure you... Mm, no, go ahead, show some. Okay. You have to try it. Okay, hey, all right. Here it goes. Um, you just. Yes. yes. Can't do it. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I was gonna have to change careers. Thank you. Okay, I got body percussion. I gotta go practice. Interesting. That was Danny Bokul um, teaching about the science of sound. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>
So a funny thing about sound is that it travels in a wave. So in a cave, I out to see how sound behave, and it came back. It echoed nice. The sound waves bounced back through the air. So what I yelled once, I heard twice. So I ran up from the cave, and I pulled out my cellular phone. I went to my contacts, and I dialed up my home. And now you know how sound is made. It's really simple. It happens when something vibrates. Now you see my vocal cords are moving to and fro. And thus these words I say are just vibrations in my throat. And now I know. Now she knows. Sound is a vibe. Sound is a vibe. It travels through the air and waves and out of ears it then arrives. And then inside these kinds of bars things get all out of the fire. You're still here. This is Michelle Kreber signing off. <laughs> Bye. You good boy. <laughs>